now we are going to discuss about users a user is a person who has access to the erp system so first of all we have to type the username admin and uh, password and then login so we can configure the users preferences in settings you can select settings from here and uh, here also and click on settings and then the users and again users over here we can find the different users in the system available or available in the system and uh, then we can create a new user by clicking on create button over here uh, first of all we have to give a username like uh, Abraham and uh, then set a login name and his password okay and then uh, we can set the language for the particular user if it's english press on click on english or else we have to uh, select other languages and we can uh, give the time zone of that user over here like we can select in time zone uh, okay. and um, then over here uh, the sales department in which that particular user belong we can select the department and then the particular team so if that user belongs to um, the sales group we can select sales group which comes under the sales department we can uh, give different access rights to each the particular um, sales team and then over here uh, the email preference like we can um, set the email id of the person at gmail.com and then the signature for that user signature as we all know it's the it's a it can be a text like which contains phone number address or such related details of that person and uh, etc like uh, we can give a number like etc and then um, click on the access rights tab in which we can define the access rights of that particular user uh, if this user belongs to the sales department we can select the access rights for that person in the sales department he can be a user um, uh, just a user or a manager which has different different access rights so he can be he can be um, uh, the manager of a particular sales management department and uh, also he can have access to the accounting side which um, can be invoicing and payment so that particular user which belongs to a sales department um, can have access to the accounting and do invoicing and payment and by default he is an employee of the human, human resource department so these are the main things um, which we configure in a, for a particular user and then we have to save it save that particular user then we can come and view it uh, over here and later on we can edit the preferences by selecting that particular user and then clicking on edit button and then over here we can again edit the user or particular details of it so this is all about uh, the users and uh, next time we log in we can um, log out from it and, and again the password and then click on login so this time uh, that person has access only to sales and accounting department and in sales he can create a sales order and because he's a manager he can create a sales order and after that he can have can do the accounting like invoicing and payment so these were the access rights we selected for that user and he's also uh, having access to the human resource department 
so these are the main parts of a um, main details related to a, a particular user then let's uh, move on to the companies okay click on settings then select the companies and companies again over here we can view the different companies and its details click on a particular company and over here uh, we can set the company see the company name and related things so uh, step all we have to give the general information like address uh, country phone number and uh, then um, we can set the header and photo for the company mails mail id this will be the main format for uh, of the header and the footer of that company which can be set over here and um, the mail id should be over here and then uh, the configuration the main configuration which we can do over here is related to the currency you can select the currency with which the company will be running and uh, such accounting details like bank accounts which can be created over here and then um, so this will be the main settings related to a company the logo which can be set and then we can create an, uh, another company add a new company by clicking on create button and again we can give the details required over here like setting a name okay. and um, straight like uh, you see anything and uh, the give the important details okay anything in particular country and the mail id okay this website header and footer which uh, by default you'll be having this much and over here you can give the company logo the image which is required and then in the configuration we can select the currency which is right now automatically set by the country and then um, the bank account which can be set by clicking on the create button so this is how we can manage the companies in our system and we can view the different companies and edit its preferences later on okay now moving on to the security here um, select the record rules okay record rules are rules which you set for a particular record um, like the expense management like um, click on the expense here we can set the um, set the access rights for the particular record so um, by clicking on the apply for create we can remove the uh, right to create such a record and we can also uh, limit the users which can use this um, this record so such provisions can be given in the record rules and we can also add the groups like HR resource employees so the employees can view and even create read write delete such record rules so these are the um, pieces of record rules next is the sequence we can view the sequence in settings configuration and then uh, click on sequence and identifiers inside that we can see the sequence okay. over here we can view the uh, sequences in the system and uh, selecting a particular sequence from sales sale okay and uh, click on sales order so we can see um, the main parts in a sequence is the prefix which we can um, 
give a prefix like a source sales order and then the number padding the number of zeros after the sub prefix and then the increment number which was the uh, method of incrementing over here it's one so one um, number will be incremented after each sales order is generated so these are the main parts in a sequence uh, it's actually used uh, mainly used to sort the different sale orders and view it in the menu okay